Hello everyone, this is Sandy Ann. Uh, in addition to the tone number one principle previously addressed, uh, this time I'm going to tell you about the tone number two principle. Uh, why specific Chinese character has specific tone number two in Mandarin Chinese? Okay, this is uh, a totally new way of learning Chinese characters. Okay, I assume you already know uh, there are four tones in Mandarin Chinese. Uh, we are going to look at the tone number two. We are going to start with its shape. Okay, tone number two. Like tone number one, uh, we are going to derive four major concepts from the shape of tone number two of Mandarin. Yeah. Look at uh, this shape, please. And this shape reminds us looking or facing upward from down to up. It's going up, rising, ascending. It's lifting, raising. I just added another key concept here. Lifting, raising reminds me of thanking, praising, maybe to God. Okay, so these are the major four key concepts of the tone number two from its shape. Please try to remember. Please look at uh, these three characters. Uh, God and Ten, the cross you have learned, and Man. Uh, these three characters have the same tone number two. Shun, Shun, Shu, Ren, 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 Shu, Shun, Yigat, the cross, Jesus Christ, and man has the same tone number value, number two. Why? Okay, principle of tone number two, as I said, meaning of each individual character dictates or dominates the tone number value. Uh, from the shape of this tone number two, we have derived four major concepts. Looking or facing upward, from down to up, going up, rising, or ascending and lifting, raising, and thanking, and praising. Okay, uh, the number two uh, tone, tone number two, it is the sound going up from red to soul tone. Now, conceptually, the tone number two starts from looking or facing upward. Then it goes from down to up. Then it is actually going up, rising, ascending. Okay? And the first basic concept is lifting and raising from down to up. From which I added, as I told you, thanking and praising to God. Okay, and then uh, we are going to develop these basic concepts to the next level. So, <clears throat> you and I extend these four basic concepts up to three more levels following our basic daily language concepts which is so natural and self-explanatory. Please agree with that. 
you are looking or facing upward to a being existing in the high above maybe God who is perfect full intact almighty or faultless right just think about Jesus Christ he's perfect is full intact almighty and faultless okay a being existing in in the high above uh, perfect full intact having all in faultless status okay and then from down to up we are thinking of God's will and praying to him yeah, many people do that or some of us reversely rebel in fighting against God depending on the situation okay there are two types of people from down to up thinking of God's will and praying to him reversely facing or fighting against God they blame God okay uh, there are a totally different uh, approach or attitude to God depending upon the situation people do that uh, this uh, reminds me uh, this concept very difficult to solve it's a profound deep difficult issues in life do you agree with this a profound deep difficult matters we are facing on a daily basis profound deep or difficult also people are <clears throat> going up rising ascending why uh, they are aiming uh, at following uh, respectful uh, if you respect your uh, parents uh, you want to follow uh, you respect them so uh, you are aiming at those behaviors okay being eagerly wanting something or longing for something eagerly why do you follow why do you respect somebody yeah, in that case you eagerly wanting something or longing for aiming at derives this next level concepts also so they clearly want some some catching completing or finishing of what they wanted yeah, catching completing finishing uh, these are the uh, concepts level by level okay and this one uh, they are lifting raising something in other words raising a part of their body enhancing spirits to achieve something by giving true effort trying to get okay uh, raising a part of body from uh, a bent position enhancing spirits to do that uh, giving true effort yeah after that actually uh, giving true effort trying to get something this means pursuing higher values or a better thing in life 
pursuing higher value or better thing in their life. Okay, uh, I guess uh, you will understand this conceptual development. Yes, so if a specific character has one or two or three more uh, conceptual, <coughs> sorry, conceptual values of this table, then uh, that character has the tone number two value. This is the principle of tone number two. Okay. If you have any question, uh, please uh, leave your message, and uh, I will look after. Okay, this is not a not an absolute uh, rules, but I have found uh, this in this way we can we can uh, quite easily remember why specific character has tone number two value. Okay, thank you very much for your listening to the end, and see you next time for tone number three. Uh, value and the principles for tone number three. Thank you. See you next time.